little bit on Navy Ride first, and then the Khabib Ride, and then uh, I'll show you an incorporation of the two concepts into the Navy Khabib. So let's just say uh, I was working with my pal here, and I duck to single, right, to golf swing, to Navy Ride. All right, so this is the Navy Ride, where I have my hips into him, I've created a shelf with my leg, I have his inside leg shelved on my, on my leg, and a lot of times I'll be riding on it with my weight or having it clamped in. Right from here, I might even have this extra leg up here. They call this an arm turk with a navy ride. Um, one might just be like this, or it might be like holding him here or whatever. Uh, why is navy ride cool? Um, it gives me control of this near quadrant. Uh, and it keeps him from like getting away from me essentially. So when he tries to shrimp or do whatever, like, you know, I'm able to follow him and kind of keep him a little bit immobile, right? And then I can use that from different passing, right? So that's Navy Ride. Uh, go ahead and get on your back, on your back real quick. And like, if you guys ever watched UFC, and you ever see uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov oh, yeah. mount someone, he like his and he'll do like this, uh, this, this Khabib Ride, where he's like locking up both legs, and he's using that to turk, and he turks their legs up, so that way they can't uh, they can't post on their feet, and it makes their hips immobile. And in which case, you know, you can do a lot of really cool stuff from here. He was very successful from that that movement, right? So we're gonna combine those two concepts, a navy ride and the Khabib lock, a Khabib ride, into uh, into a pass. So like, if he was open and seated, I'm gonna push into him, wait for him to push back. I'm gonna back step right into a navy ride but a deep lock so I have both legs right so I'm gonna combine my navy ride to a Khabib lock or Khabib ride and then I'm gonna just reach over and grab his hips I block his hips and then I'm gonna push that way right and then as soon as I feel like I have my weight postured over his I'm just gonna sink and go right for a pass right so again one more time Get him, right? I am going to attack by pushing down his legs, stepping in, shin to shin, or kind of like uh, right in front of his ankle, waiting for him to push back. I'm gonna step back, double ankles, right? Right to Navy ride, I'm gonna go deep, armpit deep, wrap around on uh, both legs, making up goose grip, grabbing up both legs. I'm gonna be pushing forward, across this hip, cupping this hip. And again, I'm gonna push him across this hip, driving up, and pulling my elbow into my side. And it should be pressure, pressure, pressure. Then release and fall down, right into a pass. Does that make sense? All right, let's try a little bit. One, two, three. So this is just like, it's just a leg drag, right? We're just leg dragging, essentially. Um, but the difference is, we're leg dragging with both legs, oh. and they're immediately coming back in, right? Some of you guys are kind of like staying out here, like all kind of loosey-goosey, and if your hip is not on his hip or close to it, he's just gonna shrimp out and regard. He's just gonna shrimp out and regard, okay? So as we leg drag and we get back into Navy ride, I wanna combine this with the Khabib ride, right, right, right? Like from Mount, Khabib keeps these two together, and it keeps them turked, keeps the, the feet off of the ground. That's the concept we're gonna go for, right? We're gonna lock up here at the knees as deep as we can, right? And so we have a grip. And then that way we can keep these legs together. We wanna keep these legs together so that way he can't manipulate his, his core, right? We're gonna keep these together and this is too far away from his hips. I need to be up on his hips, right? And then when I come across, I'm gonna be on my toes putting pressure against him. You should be feeling a ton of pressure in your hip, your inside hip, do you feel the pressure? Mm -hmm. There's a ton of pressure on his inside hip, right? This elbow, I'm pulling down into my, and it creates more pressure, right? Right, so when I pull this in, it creates more pressure on, on, his, on his hip, and he wants me to pass. He wants me to just let that go and go right to the pass, because it, it does create a lot of pressure here. So let's think about that when you're coming into it, right? And then. From the leg drag position, I mean, there's other ways of getting into this Khabib, Navy Khabib, like for instance, from top half, like if you thread and, you, and you're able to like get the legs like knee to knee, 
look, I'll just lock it up. I'm gonna set my step, take a step back to clear my leg. Right into baby ride, right into the same pass, right? So that so this maybe Khabib thing can really like arise in different kind of scenarios. As long as like, as long as you can get like both legs together and you can wrap it up with one arm, um, and you're on top, <laughs> I would say. Um, on the bottom, it doesn't work as good, I would say that. But like from here to here to here, this, this is like a pretty good control. But my toes, I'm putting pressure, it's a lot of control. And then he won't want me to pass. And then I'll go from there. All right, so let's do a little bit more. Oh, wait, you got a question? The first one. Uh, the what? The question when you on dragon. Yeah. I'll see you. Uh, okay. Me and she play. Okay, so let's talk about some concepts. Whenever we're attacking our opponent, he's got open guard, he's on his back or whatever. I don't want to just be straight in front of him like this. It sets me up for like, you know, dummy sweeps or any kind of leg entanglement that he wants, right? If I'm going to be square, I'm going to be pigeon toed with my knees in. So that way he can't like press on my, he can't like butterfly, um, like grip me out or whatever, whatever. So um, I'll be in here like this. But for this position specifically, I'm going to be like coming in with this foot pointing to the inside to block and try to put a lot of pressure here. I want him to kick back or push back on me. So that way I can do a step back. So as he kicks back, I'm gonna step back, go to double ankle, right into maybe right, right back up into his hips. So you're stepping back with the same uh, foot and you're putting pressure on. Yeah. Because uh -huh. a lot of times, whatever you put a lot of pressure on, they kick back, right? So I'm gonna kick back and anticipate that, pull up, come back down, and I'm gonna land at his hips, right? And then this will come deep. I might even turn my torso to get deeper, right? And then here. And then when I'm tight like this, it rides well. When I'm on my toes, putting my elbow in, it rides better. It's like much tougher. Right, let's try some more. One, two, three. Yeah.